Now if iOS 7 is confusing you, this video will show you how to download the iOS user guide for version 7 from the iBooks store and how to use it in iBooks. So to start you need to open your iBooks app and in the library search the store for the iOS user guide 7 search and there are a number of other user guides there too also which you might find useful uh, it is free now I already have downloaded it before which is why mine has the cloud icon but all you need to do or just demonstrate on the iPhone user guide is tap the free get the book and you'll have to put in your iTunes password and then once you've done that it'll download so let's just download this one and it'll download straight into the bookshelf in iBooks and any other book you've downloaded or purchased from the iBooks store will also be there so when you open it, tap it to open it and let's look at how you might use it this button is the menu button and so there's a table of contents for every aspect of iOS 7 so if you're really just a beginner you'd look at getting started and how to set it up etc there is a navigation bar down at the bottom so I'm on page 20 at the moment of 291 and I can just hold my finger and it will advance the pages if I knew what page I wanted to go to again just keep going back to the menu so if I knew I wanted to be in the calendar which is page 123 I can get to the calendar by going to the uh, table of contents once there, if I wanted to go back quickly, I can just go back to getting started or the basics and you can actually pick the page that you want to go to. Now setting up on um, iBooks, let's just go back to menu and select getting started. Turning the page is just swiping with your finger from right to left, like turning the pages of a book. If you want to change some of your settings, if you tap the A and you can change the brightness of that page, tapping the smaller A will decrease the font size, the larger A will increase the font size. And you've got fonts, so you can select which font you'd like to use. Change the font. Themes. And in the themes, you can decide how you want your pages to turn. So I'm looking at mine full screen. You can look at it as a book, where you actually see the spine of a book and the pages. Or you can scroll. So it's just like one page and you're just going up, up and down like a document, where the navigation is now on the right-hand side. So I will keep mine as full screen. And then you've got different backgrounds, so you could have this is white background at the moment. You could have a sepia or night. So it's going from black on white for high contrast. I'll stick with white. And then tap to, to move away. Let's just make that font a bit smaller. So what else can you do? You can search for something. So if I was looking for something on accessibility, I can hit the magnifying glass and type in my search term and I can either search the book or I can search the web or search Wikipedia for that term hide the mic the um, keyboard and this is every page in the I, in the iPad user guide that mentions accessibility and so you can look down there I'll scroll up and down to see which one you really want so I'm just going to pick something so how do you configure it page 240 We'll turn the page. So if I wanted to create some notes or some highlights, because as you're going, you perhaps want to highlight something that's important so you can come back and review that. So if I wanted to highlight this sentence, touch the screen, this one here, I wanted to highlight that sentence because I think it's important. So holding my finger down and letting go, 
gives me all the options for highlighting text. Now I want to highlight a whole sentence, so I need to drag the blue dots to I get to the rest of that sentence and let go. And then I've got options. What do I want to do with that selected text? I'd like to highlight it. And it gives me underline at the moment. So if I tap this icon here, I can decide how I want to highlight that text. I've got a number of colours or it can be underlined. So I just like to have it in green. And then tap away to move away from that. Um, this one here is a note. So if I tap speaks, this one is a note. And you can put in any extra notes that you need that you might want to remind yourself about. And tap away to close it. It tells you there's a note there because it gives you the note on the left there. To edit the note, just tap the note and then you can change what you want to say in it. And tap away. Now what else can you do with highlighting? Let's highlight something else. If I highlight the word orientation. I can define that word. And the first time you use it, nothing will come up, no definition found because you have to download a dictionary. So if you tap manage, and then you can download the dictionary that you'd like to use to define all your uh, terms. I'd like English, the English one. So I'm going to download the dictionary. I'm going to tap away and try that again. I want orientation and a definition of it. And now it'll tell me what the, the definition of that word is and give me a whole range of other information about that word. You can also have the iPad speak your selection to you. So if I highlight this section here and highlight that whole paragraph, uh, I'd like it to speak to me. Drag your finger over the screen. VoiceOver speaks each item you touch. Lift your finger to leave an item selected. Now if you want that to occur, you have to turn that setting on. And that's in, we leave, go back to Home and go to Settings, General, Accessibility, Speak Selection, and turn that on. And turning it on means you've got a green slider there. And you can adjust the speaking rate. Going towards the hair, we'll speak it more quickly. Speak selection reads selected content. Go to the left to the tortoise, slows it down. Speak selection reads selected content. So you can adjust how fast speak you want it to speak to you. Content. Highlighting words, so as the content's been spoken to you, the words will be highlighted if you turn that option on. And the voices, you can select which voice you'd like to speak to you. So let's go back to books. Uh, what else can it do? You have to select the text before anything can be done to it. So let's just hold my finger down. Just pick a, a new sentence. And I'd like to create a note at this point. And it's in green because the previous highlighting was in green. So you can type in whatever note you want. It might be an explanation or more notes to yourself. And now I have a note there with the green indicating that that's a note. And I'd like to change that color. So highlight that. And highlight in a different color, with that one in blue. And when you change the, the highlighted color, your note changes also. You can search. So if the, if the text you're reading brings up something that you, you want to investigate further, such as this one here, unlock the iPad. Well, you want, might want to know how do I do that. So highlight that, just that bit, and search. And I'm searching for unlock iPad, and it will bring you the results of all of the pages in the user guide that refer to unlocking the iPad. So then you can, at a glance, you know, go back to a different page. So you can also share. So maybe you want to share your note to someone else. So tapping that share button, you can message your mail, Twitter, Facebook, or copy it. Maybe put it into an email. So it has a sharing one. Now for some pages you might want to find again, you can bookmark them. 
and come back to them. So if you particularly want to know how to change the side switch and change the volume, bookmark the page. Now if you want to see your bookmarks and your notes, tapping the menu button. So it's just tapping anywhere in the screen to bring that up. And then you can either see your contents, which is what we've got now, table of contents, the bookmarks. So these are the ones I've actually bookmarked by tapping that bookmark. We can see all the notes that you've highlighted or defined or whatever you've done with them. And the page. And if you want to edit those notes, tapping up here, you can either share that book or edit those notes. So delete it, delete it, share it. So maybe mail that particular note to somebody or print it. You can cancel that, resume where you were. So the table of contents, bookmark and your notes. So whenever you're stuck in iOS 7, come back to the user guide.